My name is Freeman Makoa. I'm the senior supervisor in Halo Trust. Is, I'm standing here. I'm in Kasika area uh, in Codon Sanity. As you can see, that pole is one of the religion uh, fence poles on the home side of Zimbabwe. Um, and the other side, as you can see, those two poles, they are on the Mozambican side. Uh, this is called Unsanity. There's three rows of nine, of which uh, the, le the minefield itself is barring people coming from Zimbabwe, going to the Mozambican side, where their fields are and where there is uh, water sources and the like. If you can see your beast going into this side, minefield, you, you can talk of lost. Yeah, there's kids who are coming from Mozambique, uh, Mozambican side, crossing to Kasika Primary School. And also, the, most of the farmers here, their fertile land is on the other side in the Ruya River. That is why they need to cross this man should to, to Mozambican side. So far we are using make mechanical asset, the case and also the sizer. What is happening here? The case is digging all the soil from the manfield, loading it into the feeder of the sizer. Everything which is going into the sizer is going to be crushed. As you can see, the small pile of spoils is coming from the sizer. It crushes everything. This is the feeder. Uh, the case can just uh, drop the, the soil from the manfield. Then the soil can be pushed with this conveyor belt into the uh, shafts. A mine itself, it cannot be given time to explode. It can be just crushed, yes. This manfield was laid early 70s. The type of uh, uh, mines we are encountering here, the R2M2s, the most dangerous mines which can explode at any time, they are so sensitive still. It's a galvanized plastic, it cannot rot. If you take it out and take the new one, it's just the same. We just thank to our donors who gave us this type of machine. Because of the density of the mines here in this main type of minefield cordon, um, I'm saying, it is very, very safe, this type of clearance, the mechanical way, than manual.